Spieth, the Christian Direct Seller and the Direct Sales Specialist, and I am so excited that you clicked on this video so that we could spend a few minutes together today. Would you like to know the secret to having absolutely total strangers walk up to you and want to do business with you? Well, I've got the secret for you today, and this is the perfect time of year for it. It's vendor events. Yeah, I know you're probably thinking, well, I don't know the first thing about it, so hang tight, watch the video, and you will have some of the best tips ever. We're going to just spend a few moments together here talking about what's going to really make that work for you. One of the common misconceptions around doing a vendor event is your focus. A lot of people think they want to go and they want to sell product. Well, number one, I don't want to have to inventory all that product, so I don't think that's a, a really great idea. You may d you decide to do something different, but normally we have about five seconds of impact or influence on those people walking up to our booth. So one of the things that I like to do is maximize those five seconds and be able to get in the most value possible. How do you do that? Number one focus should be on lead generation. Have some kind of a drawing or giveaway, a raffle, some way that you can gather information. Keep it really exciting and very, very simple. Secondly, your second fo focus should be on bookings. If you can book a party, you can get to develop a relationship and you will get your best recruit leads that way. And then thirdly, focus on recruit leads. So there's your focus for your vendor event, right? It's going to be on lead generation, bookings, and then recruiting. Now, if you want to have a few things for cash and carry, that's completely up to you. But if you spend your focus on maybe making a $5 or $25 sale versus having the income from a massive amount of parties and party chains, to me, it only makes sense. So where are you going to find a vendor event? Well, I recommend that you talk to other consultants in the industry that you know in your area. Talk to past hostesses and customers. Also, you know, talk to networking groups, things like that, as well as Google, Facebook, meetup.com. Go to different market days. Um, work at home mom groups that are on the internet. And go to churches. Talk to them. They're great resources. A lot of them are doing bazaars and vendor events right now and looking for people to fill those spaces, as well as mom groups and clubs. You can also go to a few different websites that I've used in the past, and they're festivalnet.com, craftmasternews.com, and craftlisters. But it's completely up to you. I think you'll get your best bang for your buck by doing a small event that's local to you so you can go and follow up with the leads and do it right in your own neighborhood maybe for twenty five to fifty dollars so that you can get the return on your investment back right away within the next week to ten days so once you've got your event and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do what happens from there put on logo wear and I recommend that you you know if you're not able to get into an event that you put on logo wear carry some business cards and go and network at a vendor event at least once or twice a month minimum this time of year, you could do it probably every single weekend at each day of the weekend. It's a great opportunity to get to know what's going on out there and also to create some synergistic relationships and start up great conversations. When you're putting your display together, you want to make sure that if you have to have a table in the front, that you push it back just a little bit and stand in front. Make sure you've got multiple clipboards to gather those drawing slips on. That's the key because if you can get that in their hand, they'll stay there and talk with you for quite some time. And then you'll be able to also have their contact information to follow up with them and engage them in future business. Now, if you don't have to have the table in the front, I strongly recommend that you don't because you don't want to have a barrier between you. So put your display in a U-shape. Another key components with your display is to use lighting to highlight things that are very important. Your biggest, bestest offers. Okay, that's what's going to go there. Also use lifts and beautiful cloths so that you can get everything at eye level that's most appealing. Remember, this is your storefront. And we've been chatting about this a little bit on our Facebook group, so check those out if you want more information um, around that or if you've got questions around your vendor event. I'd be happy to do that and explain to you what I was meaning by the displays. Another key thing that will make it really be a fast, efficient way for you to set up in the future and to share on social media to draw more interest for the next events that you'll be attending is to take a picture. Just put it into your phone, save it there so that you know exactly how to set it up and you don't have to think about it each and every time. It'll really save you a lot of time and be far more efficient and you'll enjoy the, the experience a whole lot more. Always have a booking game so that you can excite them in something big like book a party, pick a prize, or book a party and pop a balloon. And make sure that you've got adequate signage on that so that people get excited about it. You can also put valued up to whatever the most expensive item is that you'll be giving away. You also want to make sure that you've got signs in your booth. This is really, really important. Now, what signs do you need to have? 
Now hiring, new to the area if that's possible. You also want to have your sign for your book a party, pop a balloon, or book, book a party, pick a prize. You also want to have things that would say something like, win this free, ask me, lots of options, or get me free. Buy some of your best host items so that you can um, talk them into you know, having a show and, and tell them all the incredible benefits around that. Another key component is you want to make sure that you've got some kind of postcard with some tickets on there to a follow-up event to be held in the next, preferably couple of days, definitely within the next week so that you can have them re-engage, reconnect, and you'll be able to get contact information from them if they didn't want to sign up for the drawing slip uh, for the raffle. You want to make sure that you have three tickets on there, and I know you guys hear me talk about this all the time, but it really, really does work. One for them and two for their friends, and then um, that way they know that they can come and have a good time of fun, more prizes, and of course you'll be doing just a, a commercial around your business opportunity and getting them encouraged to try your product as well as schedule their own party. Well, there's just a few of the tips that I have about getting strangers to come up to you at a vendor event and being able to schedule them and further your business. Take a moment this week and scout your newspapers. Go online like I mentioned. Talk to other direct sellers and get involved. We all need to have a constant flow of leads coming into our business all the time, and this is a really great time to do it, the best time of year as well. A couple of announcements for you because I know at the end of every uh, video you expect some really great news and I want to be able to share that with you. Go to our Facebook pages. There's so much happening there. The Christian Direct Seller and the other Facebook page is Direct Sales Specialist. Um, I also wanted to let you know that I'm starting a new series of uh, messages on the Christian Direct Seller Facebook page that are is called Holiday Chaos to Christ-like. And so it's just great tips that you can use all year long, but especially this year to make sure that you're not in total chaos, freaking out all the time, trying to get everything done and accomplished, but that you can act very much Christ-like during the process. I also wanted to let you know this is for every one of you and the people that you forward this to. So forward this video on to other people. They'll be glad that you did. It's going to be awesome for you as well as for them because if they go to the Facebook pages, either one, and you post the number one thing that you would like training or support on in your business so that we can serve you best. Just write one thing, whether it's bookings or sponsoring or promoting leaders or coaching or whatever aspect it is for you. Write it on there because what I want to do is I want to personally invite you to a private coaching call that I'm doing just for the people that are going to put that information in there. I'm going to be doing a free group coaching call for everybody as just my thank you to you for this month of Thanksgiving. So that's just a little cool thing for you there. And last but definitely not least is I uh, wanted to let you know that I wanted, that I am going to be starting, sorry about that, I am going to be starting the Christian Direct Seller Bible Study and Prayer Group this Monday, it'll be every Monday at 8.30 in the morning central time. And so look at for the information below here on the newsletter uh, for that, and then we'll also be posting that to the Christian Direct Seller Facebook fan page. I can't wait to see you next week with other awesome tips and ideas. I know that you're just going to love it, but take this idea, run with it, because it really can fuel your business. You can have a great, great finish to this year and have an awesome start to the next year. Thanks, and have a great week. God bless you. Bye-bye.